Jacob Daniel, I promise to laugh with you at each other's jokes or tickle fights, something silly that our cat Charlie does, or whatever else it may be. I promise to talk with you about our day, theology, politics, football, our memories, and psychological studies that I'm researching. I promise to be honest with you and be intentional with my questions. I promise to hold you. I will hold you in my arms at night, in my prayers, and hold your hand when we go on walks. Jacob Daniel, my friend since middle school, my youth group crush, my high school sweetheart, my camp best friend, my prom date, my first kiss, my Bethel boy, my best friend, my husband. You are my favorite and I love you. Lauren Grace Wolker Storfer. When I first saw you at youth group when I was a shy seventh grade boy, I thought I'd never have a chance with a girl as beautiful as you. Truthfully, that didn't bother me too much because you were still willing to be my friend. When I was with you, I felt important, appreciated, and deeply valued. We valued the same things and worked together as a great team. You also made me feel like the funniest guy in the room, even when my jokes didn't deserve a laugh. The closer we became as friends through the years, the more I was convinced that we were a perfect match. To this day, I am still drawn to how you're so passionate, sentimental, goofy, adventurous, competitive, compassionate, and willing to serve others. I solemnly vow to never stop trying to make you laugh, <laughs> to make the hard days easier and the good days even better. I commit to building you up and humbling myself to grow alongside you. You are my best friend forever. I love you, Lauren. Jake and Lauren and their families, I want to welcome you here to this place as we celebrate these two very special people and what God has done in their lives. You know, um, when Jesus on the night Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and he broke it, giving thanks to God for it. He said, This is my own body. Do this in remembrance of me. It's like well, Jake and Lauren, because you've made your pledges of love and vows of commitment, and because of the authority vested in me by the state of Minnesota, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Very exciting. Uh, Jake, you may kiss your bride. It is my extreme pleasure to introduce for the very first time, Mrs. and Mr. Lauren and Jake Van Lowe. <laughs> 